Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you some more awesome Mad Matter! We absolutely love our Mad Matter around here. It stays out and we play with it all the time. We use it to um, just help us think. We just play with it all the time and use it to de-stress. Um, so it has become a permanent fixture in our house. If you don't know what Mad Matter is, just wait. It is so awesome. Uh, we previously did a video on Mad Matter and they sent us all these awesome sets that we want to share with you. A big thank you to Mad Matter for sending this to us. And so today we have um, two sets, two of the mini sets. This is, this is with a mini extruder. This is Create and Build Fun Pack includes two extruders um, plus the building compound which is the mad matter it says stack build shape and stretch so this one says that it's blue but it looks like it has um, hexagon shapes in there and I'm not sure about the other one we'll have to check it out um, and this one looks like circles look they made a train it's so cool so um, mad matter never dries out um, it cleans up easily. It is wheat, wheat gluten, and casein free, which is awesome. <clears throat> if you're doing gluten free, you don't want to be um, absorbing it into your skin as well. Um, so this is an um, awesome thing to play with. Okay, so this one looks like a little, shows a butterfly on the front, a train on the back, and I'll show you what kind of extruders come in that one. This one is the ultimate brick maker. So this one has um, the little brick maker piece in there as well um, that we showed you the first time. Uh, apparently there's a different way to make the bricks so I'm going to show that to you in this video. So this one has um, purple and um, it makes the bricks and the bricks do stack. They stack just as if they were um, hard made out of plastic um, bricks. So it shows you on the back. We previously made this robot. You can make houses. Very cool. So I'm going to show you in this one um, how there's a special video that shows you exactly the fastest and best way to make the bricks. And I'm going to do that um, today for you. So let's go ahead and get into these packs and see what it looks like inside. Okay, so let's open it up and see what comes inside. So here's what's in the little butterfly pack. And it comes in all these amazing colors. Red and green and blue and purple. I don't know if it's showing you on the back, but okay, so here's the mad matter in our bag there. And then here's our two extruders, and they do look mini. Aren't they cute? Very cute. So we have Ta-da! We have a square and we have a hexagon. Yes, like said, very cool. So these are little mini extruders that we can use to help build um, this um, butterfly or anything else that we could use our imagination or some train. The train back there has all kinds of cool stuff. Um, so you get <clears throat> this amount of mad matter, which is an awesome amount because even in the in the bigger packs it's a teetotal ton when you open it up it's it's quite a bit you can build with so we're going to open up our blue right here wow open up okay so let me show you oh i'm losing it up and it's there it is Woo! this is my favorite thing to do with it Look at that. It is so, when you do this, the, well, you see that how it's coming, falling apart like there? It is so soft. It is so, so soft. Not gritty either, like any kind of sand. It's just super duper soft. Ooh, it's almost like tearing into a, uh, one of those little circus peanuts, but it's, I don't even know. It's even softer than that. It just kind of flows apart. And yet, when you grab it, like that it becomes very hard and like you put it in the brick maker or the little extruder 
it can be very hard. So that is really cool. All right, we're gonna show you what's inside this one and then um, build something, show you how to use the extruder and how to make the big bricks a little bit more efficiently than we did in the first one. We were just playing around there. All right, so, ooh, here's the purple, like a magenta purple. Very cool. I'm going to put that on this half. There we go. Ooh, look. Ah, get some air in it. Ah. So once you get the air flowing in it, ta-da. And it never dries out. We leave ours out. On, on a little platter um, in a common area and I don't know how many times a, a day I see people's hands all in it. <laughs> Just, you cannot resist. Okay, so there's the, the purple or lavender color and here's the brick maker. Ta-da! It shows you um, the steps right there for the brick maker and I believe this is the same size as the other one. So um, we're going to show you um, the most efficient way to make bricks. They even have an awesome uh, Mad Matter video on brick making. And we're going to show you how to use these extruders in just a second. We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. And I'm going to give you a little lesson on how, well, show you how to make um, the Mad Matter bricks um, to the best of my ability. And then we're going to talk about the other little um, mini extruders. Um, I don't know if I showed you how exactly how it comes. It shows you the little hexagon, and um, and it has this hollow piece, and then of course the little piece that goes in the shaft. The square is the same way, and uh, so I'm going to start off with. I already made some of the hexagons, and um, to practice up, and one of the bricks, and I'm going to show you uh, how it's done. So you take this part of the brick maker, and it gives you instructions on. The, um, on the back and there's also an awesome video that you can watch from Mad Matter on uh, how to make the bricks um, I guess the most efficiently so you take this side the picture side down and one second here let me get around here okay and you press it down like this after you've made it into about like a tube tube shape like this press it down Press it down, so that makes them all roughly the same height. And then you're going to take your this part of your brick maker. You're going to stick it in. Do do. You want your brick. And after after you finish pushing it down, you set that over here. You pick this up. You put it inside there like this. It's a little bit hard to show it on camera. See, make sure it's in right okay and then you take this piece and you, the ultimate brick maker piece slide it in like that push it down apply pressure Ooh, don't pull this part up like I just did because of the camera okay so make sure you're not pulling that part up you're just pushing down on this and then Take that piece off. Voila! There's your brick. And it's got the holes in the bottom, so you can connect it to the other brick, just like so. All right, so I'm going to show you again without pulling the piece up. So it's already leveled out. You take this piece, chop yourself a piece off, put it on here like this, put this piece in, push down, and then take it off of here and voila out comes the brick Ta -da! It's so much fun to pop it out of there and to stack it up so you can make um, quite a bit out of that one um, thing just by doing that same motion chopping it putting it on here and the more you do of course you're the faster you're gonna get at making it now I did see a set that comes with a six brick yes. um, six maker yeah, I'm not sure we have that set, but we do have other sets we're going to be showing. Okay, and then, oh, so fun. I love it when it pops out like that. 
All right, so um, in the same way uh, as what you could do the hexagon and squares, so which you could feed those in. You can do it any way you want, but this is just like to show you um, a most efficient way to do it or to get the most out of your mad matter. And then you squish it all up and start again. So um, with this one, let's do the hexagon. Take this part, push it in, add this to the top, and then, boop, just like that. And you, then you slide it in like that. That one wasn't the, the cleanest, so I'll try it again. I'll show you again. So if you want to go ahead and try the square one, go ahead. Okay. So push it in. And then you can put this piece in. You can do it while it's still in the dough or whatever. And then, boop, ta-da, just like that. And it makes a little hard little, look at it, looks like a little paver. <laughs> it's so cute. Did you make a square? Pretty good. No, you have to take that piece off. Okay, he's not going to listen to instructions. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay. All right, go ahead. Try that. You can do it the other way, but it's just there. You go and pop it open. Ta-da! A square. So we're gonna take these and put together something. It may not be this butterfly. We're gonna put together something, and we're gonna come back and show you what we created. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and here's our creation. <laughs> we copied the. Uh, uh, the butterfly on there except for we didn't add in the extra colors um, but the more colors you add that's really cool you can yeah. make all kinds of different color hexagons and build them all up like that It'd be really fun to make a rainbow mm -hmm. out of it yeah so um, once we have some more colors open we may attempt that all right so here's our bricks we just stacked them up like this we previously did a video where we made more bricks and made them into that dog over there and some stuff so um in our first Mad Matter video. Yes. So uh, here's our cute little butterfly made out of the hexagons and that's super fun. Um, and then uh, John made some squares and we kind of turned it into a building which was fun. Kind of checkerboard going on right there. Really fun. And of course all of this is crushable, squeezable, and and uh, I was going to say some demolition can take place. Yeah. But look, even after what we built we had this left left over too, um, this little bit and that little bit left over, and we built all of that out of those two packs. So um, that was super fun. I really like these little um, extruders. I think yeah. they're really fun, the little mini ones and the different shapes. And uh, so you're imagining there is no limit to uh, what you can build with those. Super fun. We, As always, like I said, we love our Mad Matter, and we want to say a great big thank you to Mad Matter for sending this to us to share with you. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, tell a friend, and we will see you next time.